In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to perform a BIOS boot block recovery on any of the ThinkStation desktop platforms. The first step is to download the appropriate BIOS ISO file from the Lenovo support site. To do so, open an internet browser window and go to support.lenovo.com. From this page, hover over on the PC option. Click on the View PC Support button that pops up. Type the product name of your system in the search box. In this case, I'm searching for the ThinkStation P620. Click on the download link under the system you searched for. This should take you to the drivers and software page. Click on the BIOS UEFI option. Expand the menu option and find the CD ISO image version in the list. Select the download link towards the right. and save this file to a known location on your system. The next step is to create a USB or CD DVD ROM disk of the BIOS ISO file. Note some older systems may not support the USB recovery method, but for newer systems, if you choose to use the USB memory key, Format the USB device to FAT32 file system. Then, copy over the contents of the BIOS ISO file downloaded earlier to the USB or CD DVD ROM drive. Right click on the BIOS ISO file, select Open With, select Windows Explorer. Select all the files manually and copy them over to the USB or CD DVD ROM drive. Once this finishes copying, feel free to check the contents of the USB key or CD DVD ROM to make sure you see all the following files copied over. The next step is to locate the clear CMOS jumper on the system motherboard. You can typically find this from the system motherboard label or you can find this from the user guide or hardware maintenance manual. For example, here's how you can find the clear CMOS jumper from the user guide for the P620 system. Go to support.lenovo.com and search the ThinkStation product you're looking for. Select the option for Knowledge Base and Guides under the product you search for. Then select the option for Knowledge Base and Guides again. Then select User Guides from the top menu bar. From the list below, select the user guide for the system. Once the user guide loads, Scroll down through the user guide until you find the motherboard diagram with labels. Note where the clear CMOS jumper is located on the motherboard diagram so you can quickly find it whenever you're in front of the system. One thing to note is that the clear CMOS header contains three pins with a jumper on pins 1 and 2 by default. Note there is a white marker next to the clear CMOS header. The pin immediately adjacent to the white marker signifies pin 1. The pin immediately adjacent to pin 1 signifies pin 2. The pin immediately adjacent to pin 2 signifies pin 3. Now that you have a general idea of where the clear CMOS jumper is located, insert the BIOS ISO media either from USB memory key or CD DVD ROM into the system, unplug or make sure AC power is disconnected from the system and move the clear CMOS jumper from pins 1 to 2 to pins 2 to 3. Then plug AC power back into the system and power on the system. On some of the newer systems, you may hear a single beep when you first plug in AC power to the system.
You will then hear two short beeps. At this point, you'll see a BIOS update screen in your primary display. However, some older systems will not sync video during the recovery process. The system will shut down automatically when it finishes. Once the system shuts down automatically, unplug AC power and remove the BIOS ISO media. Then move the clear CMOS jumper from pins 2 to 3 back to pins 1 and 2. Then plug in AC power and boot the system. You should eventually see the Lenovo splash screen followed by two beeps with a setup data integrity check failure BIOS post error. Press the function key F1 to enter BIOS setup. Then press the function key F9 to load BIOS defaults. Then press the function key F10 to save and exit BIOS setup. The system should now boot normally without BIOS post errors. You have now completed the steps to perform a BIOS boot block recovery.